And our Jeff Preval is out live tonight looking at how the folks who keep the ready to make the commute as smooth as possible tomorrow. Jeff? Yeah, and local officials, they're certainly uh, keeping their eye on the changing forecast. You know, so often we hear from local uh, officials and agencies that they have enough plows, they have enough salt, they have enough personnel, but we spent a lot of time today looking at what's new uh, as this snow, this storm approaches, what's new uh, this winter season at the municipal level. We'll start with the city of Buffalo. Uh, they unveiled today uh, five new plows that they've bought. They have more than 100 pieces of equipment to deal with the snow. All of them are equipped with GPS, so officials know where they are. And of those new plows, a couple of them are actually smaller, and they can clear dead ends, tighter roads, tougher areas like you find on the west side. That smaller piece is, is a piece of equipment that we found that would be very stable in going down an island street or a, or a narrow west side street. They, it won't shift side to side. It, it's a, a very productive piece of equipment. Now the city also has on standby snowmobiles and ATVs that the city bought during the November storm a few years back. Officials say that they learned a lesson from that storm. So did many other agencies uh, that they weren't able to get to certain areas and through uh, many areas that are packed with a lot of snow. And it's not just the city that's making moves ahead of this storm. Also, the state DOT is with a major roadway in the south towns. We'll explain more about that coming up at 6. For now, reporting live in Niagara Square, I'm Jeff Perfall, Channel 2 News. All right, Jeff, thank you. And along with those preparations comes a warning from the city. After a couple of delays, winter parking rules are in effect beginning tonight. That means no overnight parking on bus routes.